Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a brand new guide of On Showdown, the patch 1.9. Couple of stuff changed, they optimized a couple of stuff also server side, client side. So we're going to start with an optimization of Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottlenecks. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32, just divided by two. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, we're going to go to settings, graphic. So the first one is your resolution. Super important to play native in this game. Uh, you The game will look blurry if you just lower your resolution. So if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go, go with 1080p. For the window mode, I really recommend to go full screen. All the other mode, if you're using like a full screen window, borderless and stuff like that. Um, 
you will have like stuttering in this game so super important to use full screen and also if you want to use the super resolution from amd you will need to use this mode after that you have the render uh, resolution scale i don't recommend to lower it just go at 100 your game will look too blurry uh really like last resort you can go at 90 percent but i really recommend to use tool like the super resolution from amd or the nis from nvidia so if you have those technology available use that if you want more fps you can also uh, limit the amount of vram that the game will use on your gpu honestly if you have more than 4 gig you can go with 80 if you have something like 1 gig or 2 gig you can go at 90 this is pretty much the maximum that you can do uh, it's to avoid like you're going uh, over the amount of VRAM that you have and getting some stuttering. So this is a way that you can limit it. But I really recommend to just change your graphic parameter and make sure that you have uh, some empty space in your uh, video memory. For the object quality, me, I'm playing at eye because I really want to see objects, enemy uh, further in front of me. If you don't have, like, you're playing, I don't know, with an integrate video card at this game, don't go with I go with medium or even low. Low, it's pretty rough for a game like that because you really want to see in front of you and further. So, it really depends on what you want. You have 3% different for each bracket. So, I to low, you can expect a nice 6% boost if you're going to low. For the texture quality, I recommend uh, 4 gig and more of vram go with high 3 gig go with medium less than 3 gig go with low and you should just follow the same step for the texture filtering so if you're at high go with 16 or 8 if you have at medium go 6 or 4 and if you are at low at texture quality go with 2 or 1x after that uh, we just select this anti-aliasing i don't recommend to using it in this game so if you compare 2x2tx smaa to off you can expect a 7% boost in your FPS. And also, the anti-aliasing in this game is pretty trash. You don't want to use it. Everything looks blurry. So I really recommend to go off for visibility. For lighting quality, you can expect a nice 6% boost in your FPS if you compare high to low, depending where you are in the map. Also, it will help a little bit with visibility. So super important to go with low. Shadow quality, this one will provide you the most of, F of your FPS. If you compare high to low, you can expect a nice 12% boost in your FPS. Some people like to play at medium because they want to see better shadow um, when they're fighting. So sometimes you don't know if someone is there. You have like some reflection because of the shadow quality. Uh, you can see that you have an enemy near. So it really depends on what you want to do. Uh, me, I just play at low because it gives a big boost in my FPS. Effect quality, I recommend to just removing it. Uh, it causes a lot of like stutter, mini lag, what you see explosion when you're fighting and stuff like that. So just go with off for this one. Post-processing quality, also I recommend to go with off. It helps a lot with your visibility in the game. So you can expect a nice 7% boost in your FPS and also a better visibility. The last one is your particle quality. This one I recommend also to go with low Again, with explosion, when you have particle effect, when you're playing the game, sometimes it's dropping like crazy your FPS. So that's why I recommend to go with low. For the performance stat, you have a couple of options that you can uh, use. You can use warning icon only if you don't really care. But you can have like basic detail or extended um, information. This is really good when you don't know if it's the server who's lagging. Is it your ping? Is it your computer? So definitely, if you need more information, just use that. For the V-Sync, I don't recommend to use the V-Sync. You will add more input lag in your game. So I recommend to use G-Sync or FreeSync from AMD. If you don't have those technology, just don't use V-Sync. Look at your game. If you don't have crazy amount of tiering, uh, you're good. If you don't like your tiering, just activate your V-Sync. It will be a lot better for your visual, but you will add more input lag. The max of FPS. Honestly, this one, I'm not a huge fan to unlock the FPS in this game. Uh, you're getting too much difference in your FPS. So you're looking at somewhere, you're getting 140. And after that, you just turn around and you're dropping at 105. And those big drops uh, don't feel very good in this game. So I recommend to lock your FPS with the amount of Earths that you have. So for example, if you have a 144 Earths screen, just go with 144. If you have 120 or if you just have a 60 Earths screen, go with 60. And it will help a lot to just stabilize your FPS when you're playing the game. 
After that, Depth of Feel and Motion Blur, I don't recommend to use that. First of all, uh, it's pretty trash for your visibility in this game, so super important to removing it. Uh, you will gain maybe 1-2% to 2 boost in your FPS because of the Depth of Feel, but Motion Blur doesn't change anything. And after that, the advanced setting before they were in, in the other tab. So in this one, I just recommend to use the past scene rendering and the past lighting. And that's about it. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. I also now have a Discord with a proper support for hardware and gaming. So you can definitely go there. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.